Hi guys, Adrian here, and this is my very first Q&A video. I wanted to do this as a thank you gift for the 100,000 subscribers on my channel. Welcome guys, and thank you so much for supporting this channel. It really pushes me to do more and to be more creative for you guys. So I know that this video comes out a bit late as I have asked um, questions on my social medias about six months ago maybe more sorry about that so i'm getting right to it so the most common question that i had is why don't i upload more videos so long story short i'm in a period of transition in my life as i used to have a normal day job non-related to the music um, you know to pay the bills and stuff and right now i'm in a transition to make a living out of my drumming so I've stopped my job and went back to school, to a music school, you know, to fill some gaps that I have, to learn more drumming language, and so to be the best drummer and the best musician I can be. Because I am self-taught, so there are a lot of drumming tools that I didn't uh, wanted to learn at the time, and I figured that I miss those tools to be a complete drummer. And I really want to focus on studying because next year I will have to earn my money from drumming. So right now I'm working my ass off. But don't worry, I will not stop doing video. I really enjoy doing it. So I will do my best to do some videos within this year, but I will do more content after that. So now to the next questions. So I had a lot of questions about when did I start? How did I learn? Uh, what inspires me. So, when? Um, actually, I started at the age of seven in a French conservatory. So I was learning piano, drums, and mostly music theory. And you know, as the classical academicals teaching uh, were full of <laughs> were annoying, I have stopped and been self-taught uh, since then. But I, I really, fell in love when I was 18 and when I started my first band. Because when you start doing shows and playing with your friends, everything, you know, start making sense. And this is where the fun is. Especially when you are in a band called Legs on Fire. It was my first band and it was a, a, a punk rock band. Um, so, you know, the aim was to play fast and loud. <laughs> and even though the timing is not good, who cares? Um, so it was like plenty of energy and this is when I really fell in love with drumming. Okay, so now how did I learn the drum? So as I told you, I'm self-taught. So until now I have learned by myself. I don't really recommend it. Uh, this is just like something that happens uh, because of my personality. So basically I just listen to music, playing along with it playing with some bands, having fun, trying to be creative, and that's it. And then, a few years later, and too late in my opinion, I understood the difference between playing and practicing. So then I started practicing a lot, watching drummers that I like, listening uh, drummers that I like, and trying to use all the tools that I've learned to have a, a good timing, a good gesture, a good feeling and to build my creativity and, and, and my own drumming personality. So now how long? So as I, you know, started very young, but I stopped for a long period of time. So, I mean, if I put together all the years, I think that it's been 12 or 13 years that I'm playing. Okay, so now my influences. I'm inspired by everything that has energy, groove, and that sounds great. <laughs> um, I mean, I listen to a lot of music. I listen to funk, to electronic music, dubstep, uh, hip-hop, rock metal, classical music, jazz music, fusion. So the inspiration comes from everywhere. At the beginning, when I started, I was really into Travis Barker because this guy has such a great energy and sound and creativity and also John Bonham from Led Zeppelin because this guy also had such a massive sound but also Stuart Copland from Police um, this guy's grooves like a beast and also Michael Jackson because those beats were 
like on point, you know, it's simple and it makes you dance. So I loved it. Um, and now I'm more into guys like Chris Coleman, Benny Greb, Ash Schoen, JP Bouvet, Cobus, Gavin Harrison, and so many more. Okay, next questions. Estef, who is your favorite band? Wow. <laughs> I can't give you one answer. I mean, there is Linkin Park. I've been really influenced by this band. Um, Shaka Punk and 21 Pilot. Those bands are bands that I really like because they are the kind of band that I would have loved to play with. As I said, Michael Jackson, Porcupine Tree, Avishai Cohen, Pendulum, Prodigy, Avenged Sevenfold, Chopin, Jamie Roquai. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Led Zeppelin, Muse, Nirvana, Pink Floyd, Royal Blood, Snarky Puppy, Tower of Power, Lettuce, Skrillex, Herbie Hancock, Tesseract, 30 Seconds to Mars, and so many more. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the end of the first part of this video. On the next part, I will answer questions about how to progress and also some questions about the way I do my drum covers. And if you want to make sure to receive it, just subscribe and hit the bell notification button. Also, I will release very soon a new video where I will do the unboxing of the TD50, a tour of my setup, a special giveaway, and after that, I will release a brand new drum remix that I have just recorded. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So stay tuned. I love you guys. Bye bye.